Hi, I'm David Kessera, Chief of Palliative Care at Duke Health and Professor at the Duke University School of Medicine. I'm also part of a happy Karyaya family. We've met many of you as you've come to our home to care for my mother-in-law who has dementia and lives with us. So I'm here to thank you for being a joy giver and to tell you that this is one of the best things that you can do to set yourself up for a great clinical career. Health profession schools are looking for students who have shown dedication to patient care. Sure, you could be a scribe or working in a lab, but those jobs don't show the evidence of dedication, empathy, understanding, and appreciation of what it's like to live with a serious illness. Anyone can say in an application or an interview that they're committed to caring for people, but you're proving it every day, and that means a lot. Lots of students can manipulate a pipette in the lab, and anyone, frankly, can be a scribe. But it really takes a special person to be able to read the room and think on your feet. You need to be able to be okay with uncertainty. And you have to help people find happiness where they are. In short, you need to be a healthcare professional. And being a joy giver isn't just a way to build a competitive application to school. It's also a great way to prepare for that career as a healthcare provider. The skills you learn now will serve you really, really well in a healthcare career, whatever that looks like. Doing the work you do is hard, but, and it's enjoyable and meaningful, just like being a healthcare professional. That's why being a joy giver means so much to those of us who select and teach and mentor learners. We know that what you do is hard and we appreciate that you do it anyway. And we know how meaningful it can be to care for patients. And we appreciate that you find that work just as meaningful as we do. So thanks.